So let's go ahead and get started now with a basic launch. And so a basic launch is going to be, you're going to throw a regular IED down, kind of at an angle from where you're trying to bounce. So in this example, we're just trying to get to this little bit right here. Now, typically, if you're doing a like a double bomb jump, you would kind of face this way, throw a bomb right below you and bomb up. But Aiden doesn't quite work that way with a bomb launch. So if you're not too familiar with the bomb jumps, then I recommend going there first, understand the concept of how bomb jumps and double bomb jumps work, and then check out the details of bomb launching. But I'm going to show you an example of a bomb launch now, just trying to get to the portion right above here. And that's how you do it right there. Now, depending on when you detonate the bomb, the later you wait for the second bomb to detonate, the higher he'll get. But there's only so much in that window that you'll get. If you wait too long, he'll blow up and die, or it'll just turn into a regular double bomb jump. But if you time it just right, you can get even higher. But it just takes, you know, trial and error, a lot of practice with timing to get that portion down. Now with this one, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing we just did only what we got to keep in mind is this one isn't near as high so the bomb can't be too close to us so we got to factor that in we're going to throw the bomb let's say we'll throw it maybe about here it's better to throw the bomb too far and have to do it over than to, than to kill yourself and have to start all over again There you go. And I'm gonna show you some additional examples of a regular launch. That's, a, that's considered a regular launch. There's other launches that we're gonna take a look at, but this is your basic launch that you're gonna be using. So the ones we're gonna be going over in this video, there's gonna be a catapult launch, it's gonna be a curve launch, and there's gonna be a cross launch. Those are the only those are the ones we're going to be going over the variations because this is just an introduction to it there's other variations that are way way more complex to try to pull off that i'll possibly go over in the future but this is just an introduction and learning on how this is going to be as far as for the launch techniques that you can use for different buildings or structures that you're trying to achieve that you've never been able to get to before all right let's go check out these other ones all right, so here's an example of a bomb launch technique that you can use. Now, bomb launching is like, just like, you know, double bomb jumping is not 100%. Bomb launching is actually a lo lower percent chance that you'll succeed just because the different variations and calculations are so much hard to calculate where Aiden's going to project his body when he floats like he's in outer space. 911, what's your emergency? Get some cops out here right now! Hello? There you go. So that's a way you can get up here. Now, you can also do that. You can do it much less. That's here. That's kind of the first one. You can get up. It's not in the division. You can do Then bomb straight backwards. When you bomb straight backwards, it's going to launch him upwards. What that's going to allow him to do is if he doesn't make it, he'll at least land back up here where he can try it again. Because if you bomb and try to just do a catapult, if he doesn't make it, he's going he's gonna to launch over there somewhere. You're going to have to start all over. So you want to you make it as easy as possible to be able to do this. Because all these, and also, if I forgot to mention, these can be done in hacks also all the exact same. So there's no difference in like a, you know, the chopper or the sayonara doing a super bike bomb jump. Anything like that that doesn't work. All this work, all these work in hacks. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this variation here. Hopefully we can get this to work. Now also, it does help slightly bombing towards it, but not 
aiming directly to go towards the bomb, but just angling away from the building. Because when he launches, he's going to launch up and leftwards. But you'll see. Just slightly short there. So now what I'll need to do, now that I see the angle, I'm going to slightly need to adjust the timing of the second bomb going off. The closer you can get to the second bomb, the higher he's going to launch in the air. But we're going to try this again with a little bit later detonation of the second bomb. See how much higher he got right there? Now that can also be deadly because luckily this building is so high that the fall wasn't that big for him coming down. But that's an example on how you can delay the bomb to get up even higher. And now we're going to take a look at the next part. Here, a bomb. Yeah, you can throw it somewhere over there, and that'll be fine. And then we're gonna use the destroyer to get a little bit higher up. There you go. Make sure we clear it. Please state the nature of your emergency. Help! Please come quick! I may have threw that too far out. We'll find out in a second. Get down! Oh, that's fine. So this first variation, we're going to be at the construction site in Parker Square. So let's start here. And this first variation is called a catapult. So the catapult launch, the way that that's going to work is you're going to throw a bomb down here and then one right here. Now once you bomb from up here and go down, you're going to bomb yourself from the bottom one. It's going to launch you right back up, right above where you just were standing. So I'll show you an example right now. And bear with me, I'm kind of getting over allergies and everything right now. Just like that. So as far as for getting to a, to a uh, basically if you're trying to reach a height that's right above you, such as this, or if you're trying to get to, let me show you something like that right there, that's going to be your best bet as far as for getting to the to the next one up right above you. So you can do that. It it does when you slightly do launch, you do aid and slides slightly to the like upwards left when he when he launches that's the only direction that he typically will launch from what I've seen and then so take for instance so I have to launch if I want to launch actually I'm not even gonna go it's, that's a little bit more advanced I'm you can actually launch from here and land all the way over there but that's gonna be this is gonna be a basic tutorial so I'll save that for another video so now we're going to go ahead and take a look at another area, and I'll show you some other examples of a catapult launch now.
All right. So we're gonna throw. Let's throw about right there. Um, angle right here. I think we can line up with this. Hopefully the glass doesn't kill us. Move! There we go. Oh. Yeah, that's one of the easiest ways to start learning is that I call that a catapult because basically for that launch you just launch backwards or bomb backwards and it, and it catapults you forward so for this next variation now that you've seen the catapult launches example I'm going to show you what's called I call it a curve launch so basically what a curve launch does you find the side of a building it's going to have to be where it Let's say if Aiden is facing the building, it's going to be where the side of it is going to be to his left. And then you're also, when you're bombing, so like I mentioned earlier, he bombs upwards left. So when he bombs, he's going to bomb that direction, like that, at least. He can't go that way when he bomb launches. He just won't do it. You have to find a building that's going to be to Aiden's left when you do this. So the first placement of a bomb, you're going to place down here towards the bottom. Not too far down, so you still got to be able to reach the bomb. Now this is not 100%, but the next placement that you're going to be is slightly over to the right and upwards. Now once you're there, your objective is to bomb yourself backwards around to this area here. And as you're in the air, you're going to detonate that bomb and it's going to launch you and do a curve. So that's why I call it a curve launch because it's going to curve you up there to land up there. It's the, yeah, it makes no sense, but through hours of doing this and finally figuring out variations and how this is going to work, this is what I found that actually does work. So I'll show you an example. I may, it may take a couple tries, but I'll show you here. That right there, that's the curve launch right there.
all right so for our next variation we're going to take a look at this one is going to be called a cross launch so the way that that's going to work is you're going to stand to the building the building that you want to get up on top of it's going to be to your right you're going to throw a bomb it's going to be a regular ied to the left now here's where it can get tricky you're going to be the reason i call it this bomb variation which is a cross launch it's because you're going to be launching kind of like a um, x where you're going to be bombing across where you just threw that bomb and that's going to launch you upwards and left but you're going to be still going right next to the building so i'll show you this variation this one can be one of the hardest ones to pull off depending on how high you're trying to go if it's like not too high then it's not really a problem but this one can be pretty tricky to to pull off compared to like the catapult catapult's probably going to be the easiest one but um i'll show you an example of this one right now so that's the way that a cross bomb now this definitely helps if you're on a building and you're going up to multiple buildings if you have this angle to do a cross launch from the portion below that definitely helps out. And so I'll show you some other variations of the cross launch right now. Please state the nature of your emergency. Get down!
All right, so that was just a basic tutorial to show you on bomb launching different techniques that you can use. Just an introduction video. I'll probably make another video in the future going into more details as far as for other additional techniques that can be done also. But I just wanted to give you a heads up since this is pretty new. It's only been around probably about, I'll say about a week. So I just wanted to show you guys uh, from what I've learned over the hours of testing, trial and error of everything of what can be done as far as for new building structures that you want to reach that you've never reached before. But hope you appreciate, hope you enjoyed the video. Appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe. Everybody take care.